टू माई चैनल सो यू न्यू टू माई चैनल माई नेम इज़ अर्नवी मित्रा एंड आई एम आ स्पेशलिस्ट प्रोग्रामर एट इन्फोसिस एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट वॉट शुड बी योर स्टडी प्लान इफ यू आर प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर द इन्फोसिस स्पेशलिस्ट प्रोग्रामर और डी एस सी एग्जाम सो इफ यू आर गोइंग थ्रू ब्रिज प्रोग्रामर आई मीन इफ यू आर एन इन्फोसिस एम्प्लॉय एंड यू आर गोइंग थ्रू ब्रिज प्रोग्रामिंग देन इन एवरी क्वार्टर यू हैव चांस टू अपीयर फॉर द एग्जाम एंड इफ यू आर फ्रेशर और इफ यू वॉन्ट टू अप्लाई ऑफलाइन इन्फोसिस जनरली हायर इन अयर टू टाइम्स दे डू ऑफ कैंपस ड्राइव लाइक दिस इयर देर वॉज वन ऑफ कैंपस ड्राइव एट एप्रिल एंड अनादर इज गोइंग टू हैपन इन जुलाई सो यू हैव अ लॉट ऑफ अटेम्प्ट यू कैन गिव एंड यू कैन प्रिपेयर फॉर द एग्जाम नाउ वी नो दैट एग्जाम इन दिस एग्जाम इज अ लिटल मोर टफ and so that's why they i got a lot of message that how should we prepare and what should be our study plan so i will be giving you two study plan one is for 3 months and another is for 6 months based on your priority and your uh, like when you want to give the exam you can choose your study plan so first uh, i would uh, say uh, that if you are not ready then take your time and at first like in pre requisite you ha- you must have knowledge of dsa not advanced data structure but at least you should have knowledge of basic uh, data structures like how to use stack queue priority queue this kind of things you should have knowledge so if you are uh, from non cs background and you want to give this exam then i would say go and first learn dsa it won't take that much time and you don't have to go to detail and you have to know all the theories uh, you just have to know a basic knowledge and it's better if you have a lot of practice and then uh, if you have the knowledge of dsa then uh, it's better you should uh, start your practice according to my study plan so for the three months uh, study plan i have divided the day, uh, things as one month one month one month you have to prepare in uh, three fa- phases and if you are choosing the six months study plan then uh, it will be two month two month two month for each uh, three fa- uh, phases so what are these three phases so first thing is learning then uh, next is uh, practicing and the third point is revising so how should we do i will be uh, explaining in the learning what you should learn so i am ex- uh, assume that you have the knowledge of data structures so when uh, for this uh, particular exam uh, you can check my uh, last quarter analysis or all the strategic video where i have mentioned that for the uh, infosys specialist programmer exam they f- focus on uh, some important topics like uh, number theory sieve algorithm dp uh, graph greedy this kind of things uh, tree or linked list kind of questions are not important so when learning you should first prepare what you should learn like um, you should focus more on the topics that uh, from where the uh, questions are coming for that you can refer my 50 question uh, sheet i have focused only on the main uh, concepts other than that i have prepared top 10 question uh, sheet and also my previous year analysis i have specified some specific topics you can go and you should learn and now the process is how you should be learning i would say take uh, two to three questions daily try to solve it when you are solving and uh, learning new thing keep a note you can uh, note it in your laptop in uh, in a ppt or in uh, any text file or you can write in your paper the taking note is very much important when you are learning a new thing so after uh, like uh, doing a practice uh, you can always if you are practicing from lead code uh, or geeks for geeks you can go to that topics and uh, solve uh, that particular questions and in lead code especially when you are solving one question it will suggest a uh, some question uh, on that topic so when uh, suppose you have chosen my 50 question sheet and you have solved two questions so after solving two question you there will be recommendation of more question uh, from that topic you can solve them so uh, this is the learning phase 
now it's time for uh, practicing so when you have completed learning all the topics it's time uh, how much you are practicing more and more you have the topics go to lit code go for that specific topics and uh, try to solve at least three to four questions daily when in the learning phase you are solving two questions and taking the notes in the practicing phase you will be more focusing on how how much questions you are able to solve how, in how much time how are how you able to optimize it these things you should be focusing more and more and now the next is revision so before one month uh, you should start this revision and for this revision i would say don't uh, stop coding you should be in a practice of coding but uh, as well as you need to revise the old topics for which you have taken notes and for the last minutes i have already prepared one video the must uh, uh, tick uh, uh, watch video the the uh, tips and strategy you should follow when you don't have much time so you can go and check there how you should revise so mainly for the revision you you should be focusing more on your notes and the previous year questions so these are the three uh, phrase you should learn now um, as you as you are preparing i know maybe you are working or if you are student you have other things so how you should uh, take time for revision i will be explaining so per day if you are going for three months then per day you should get at least four to five hours daily and if you are going for six hour, uh, six months practice you should give two to three months daily Uh, sorry, two to three hours daily. So, what you will do in this uh, hours? Uh, one thing I would say, uh, practicing question. You should have one to two hours for practicing question. If you are able to solve the question within half an hour, then it's fine. You can go for more questions. And if you are not able to solve uh, more question in that time, it's fine. Just more focus on. solving a question even if you are in learning phase or practicing or revision every time you are solving questions so at least give 2 hours for solving the question and then other time you should be focusing on writing or taking notes and learning new concept you there are many youtube videos or uh, you can go to gigs for gig site and from there you can learn the concept so other thing other times are for learning and taking notes but you should give 2 hours uh, daily for uh, running the code because when you are running the code you may find many uh, issues and from that uh, suppose uh, you are getting compiler error error and you don't know why it's getting error or even though you are able to solve it it's not optimized one so you need to uh, you are getting theory and you need to op- optimize it so that's why i would suggest go and practice daily 2 hours so for your 5 uh, hours uh, uh, sorry for this 4 hours you have to give 2 hours for practicing code and for other time you will be learning and taking notes and if you are de- uh, following this without any break and you are every day giving uh, this much of time then i can assure you that you will be prepared very much well for this exam and you can give it your best for the exam and if you like this video please like share and subscribe to my channel and also if you want to connect with me you can connect in my uh, uh, link link and also you can join my telegram group uh, if you have any doubt you can tell me thank you